Chamber Saw! So, the ward placement itself is a bit weird, but other than that, the idea makes some sense. So he's gonna now buy out. So just have to instantly time. Buy they are. Here. Oh, bottom lane. Oh my god. Oh, that's the first blood for Adam. Be able to get a kill. Open wounds and rage gonna be used as well by Raging Potato. So, a bit low on mana going for it. Ice, ice, ice. Top lane. Gets hit by the LSA. Thunderclap is there. Glimpse as well. But already five stacks of the reactive army. Mushi, he's gonna take a oh, tower Mushi. hit here. He's no. in trouble. And Blast will finish him off. Arcana down one to one, and a big death in the top lane. We talked about yeah, shutting down the timber huge. saw, but but that, the ward the actually gonna scout him, oh. and maybe even scouts him dropping a ward of his own. Ward is gonna find the next assassin spike. Carapace is there though. They get the stun and the blast. Second kill of the game for the keeper of the light for X Y. Blast goes out. Is gonna connect onto raging potato, but that'll be all she wrote for the mid lane. So again. If he stayed bottom, they would probably have destroyed the safe lane. Yeah. He still can have a lot of impact. I think they are probably getting tipper. Thick charges are there, but the chain not in time. Save Ice Ice Ice, and they will get him with the level 2 of the Earth Spirit Boulder Smash. That extra bit of time. Killing timber once is decent, but he could have had a lot more impact on bottom lane. Uh, they might have some kind of a plan though, like it, it might turn out to be decent. That's oh, a good nice play by Yabs. Play. Yeah. He's going to get the Spike Carapace under the Vendetta on top of the Caustic Finale. Reflects some damage, ensures he gets the stun, and the Impale hit, or the Vendetta hit off, excuse me. Can I say that this is a uh, Nyx mid? It's not the common, most common, you know, so yes, might be inexperienced, mm -hmm. but he, he knows it. He knows how to handle the hero. They're aware he's under Vendetta as he just oh, took the rune. Meanwhile, like, you know. top lane, Ninja Boogie, very low. As well, Ice Ice Ice, jumping through, Chakram is going to finish off oh, his up He may kill more. everyone here. Chain is going to whiff though, does not have the Whirling Death. Will be able to stay up in lane and press forward, but... He's not a hero oh, Golem is really up, there's farm. smoke there. They're looking to fight this. Fatal Bonds goes out first, they don't have a Glyph yet, they are just gonna drop it down, they will connect onto Raging Potato, he still has the Rage though, uh, Luminate gonna fly through, Static Storm though counters it, uh, Epicenter from KYXY will find the first kill, that's gonna be onto Jabs, the second kill for Maneski's side is gonna be found onto Nuts, as Raging no, Potato, and they find the LSA, Burrow Strike is there, Raging Potato double kill on the Lifesteal and the Tower, and as I just spoke about funneling in kind of 1v1, they try to use the Chaotic Offering, but... Uh, life stealer and I think it was Sanking was up there as well, but with uh, Nick's uh, stun in, off the golem. Actually, Ice 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 is probably gonna go down. Oh, he, is he tanky? He has a hood. I think it's fine. Yeah, he could turn. It's classic Ice Ice Ice. Gets the stick charges off. Black's coming through as well. The pullback from the Chakram. Pounce is gonna connect on the KYXY. They kill him off. And Ice 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 showing very good understanding of his limits on the hero be defending this tower since it's on cooldown but they're gonna drop it uh, they're kind of rotating in now but they could kill black he actually has tp in backpack so it's gonna take him some time nice silence and they get the static Good storm place. off as well very nice no risk taken yeah. they just they use a lot there and they, they that was coordinated as well that was like that's probably not happening. So, should definitely wait for the Sanky Blink. And they kind of waste time defend, trying to defend the towers. Oh, bot lane. Dragon Slave into the Carapace. Once again, Jabs under the cover of Vendetta. Able to use that Carapace. Meanwhile, mid lane, Isis is trying to TPL. He won't be successful in doing so. Magnetize and the Static Storm. Able to bring him down, so. Yeah, wonder who will get most pressure on tower. Actually, this is some good rotation by Mineski. They're gonna catch this call. 3-4-3 three, three connects awesome. with the boulder smash. Rolling boulder is there as well. Oh, they lose the their tower. off lane tier tower. Uh, tier 1 tower, that is. Look to create some space there for Ice 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 and remainder of their lineup. It's in of which, rolling boulder. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Is going to catch on nuts. And oh, no. Blinding light. They're in time, but the rage able to purge it off. They get the LSA on the north side as well to find XY. 
trying to save his nuts warlock, he will end up dropping double kill for Raging Potato, who's 6 0 and 0 on this life stealer out of the mid lane. This life stealer, whereas Black 1 1 and 2 with that Midas and 145 last hits, he's been able to find the farm he needs. LSA gonna miss top lane. Ice Ice Ice, though, he's a bit low on mana, so hard for him to press forward kind of baiting in though static storm does drop down on the nyx the chaotic offering from the backside trying to disjoint the initiation on the ice 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 he's still oh. in a lot of trouble though and the blinding light will at least delay it out ice 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 he's still alive meanwhile they get the disruptor on the back lines with jabs rolling boulder over to the right xy he's still fairly healthy magnetized running through the entire radiant lineup though and finally the caudal will go down pounce lands as soon as the rage is over and back gets a double kill with the dark pack finishing off the life stealer now 343 turning to the east to run pounce is gonna whiff he does have a rolling boulder available will yeah, get the bounty room him, yeah. gets a kick away and rolling boulder tp out will just be safe uh missed the stun could have definitely killed timber if he landed it but kind of missed it by a little i think he went for a double stun could have cost them cost the uh, faceless a lot more oh, that's a good blink out but we have some invis do they have detection uh, they do. Guna Blade for good measure as they didn't have much vision up the hill dire side so do we'll have to find him in some ways out of position to be able to initiate and uh, therefore fit thereafter but mid lane speaking and finishing heroes off 343 three, with ease is going to be spilled in the mid lane and black after starting 1-1-2 one, one, and going to be 4-1-2 and two at this point so since he picks up that shadow blade Three consecutive oh, bottom. Kills. XY is calling someone in, and they're set up to gank. This could be backfiring. Jump forward, they get an easy kill on the next thing. No KY XY is nearby, but he should be able. Oh, the oh, Yule Scepter! Bushy. With a not even half second left to go. Oh, he Finds doesn't have the cost range talent. It looked like it was the cost range talent that got him. I was actually gonna mention that, but he doesn't even have it. Not gonna be the quickest at, at pushing this tower, but. Couple of kills for Mineski. Not going to translate really into anything. No objectives nearby. But now Black, he finds out Ninja, Ninja Boogie will bait out the Static Storm as well. They in towards to the, the top BKB. lane. Doesn't even end up using his BKB. Uh, it's kind of, it's very hard to gank a Timber Soul. He's so tanky. Oh, they're finding something. They, do they have a gem? No, they just have detection. Sentry down, Jab's in a lot of trouble. Gets the impale off onto the Disruptor, but Raging Potato finishes him off. Ice, Ice, Ice. He's now going to turn tail and run. Jump oh. forward, though, from KYXY. He's got the Yules up. Gets I the Burl Strike off. They do use the Static Storm. He, he will get it off in time. Wow, KYXY even expending the Epicenter, hoping to get the kill, but he gets the Deny in time. Now Blinding Light going to keep them from pushing back the tower. Certainly favoring the kind of defensive natured build. Yeah, I went to respawn nice. fine. I'm not sure what we saw earlier. Nice, nice, nice. gonna get silenced up by the geomagnetic grip. Magnetic goes out, or uh, magnetized goes out, and they will end up bringing him down underneath the static storm. There was no response at all, really, yeah. from Faceless. Nuts, he's gonna be a secondary kill on the back end, and Mineski continuing with their momentum from earlier in the day. Yeah. They're looking at Ice Ice Ice, who once again is oh, alone yeah. out in this bot lane. They get the epicenter off Static Storm no again. And down to three charges Mushi. from 12 quickly. Oh, Mushi shadow baiting out. Oh, he was he was uh, surrounded by three heroes, and they put down like three sentries to get him. But yeah, Boogie is getting out, so this could backfire. I think they, they seem to have a kind of a clue where they are. Approximately at least. Except that um Maybe we'll we'll for it though. KYXY Rock is gonna be onto the rage of the life stealer. They get the spike care piss off onto jabs, and now the life stealer he's in trouble. He's gonna end up dropping Mushi. Combos up two supports though and gets a double kill in the meantime. Will Black be able to find him one second until pounce? Mushi very fast with the fiery soul. And it looks like oh he gets oh, bashed gosh. up. Stops for that split second to try and get the extra fiery soul charge and it costs him. Black able to chase him down with the freshly picked up Basher. He he will destroy anyone if he's if he has this team back up. So you kind of have to stop the the nuts counter initiation or sinking. There's a gem incoming. 
He heals himself up, but it feels like he's in a lot of trouble. Yeah. And we'll just end up dropping. Manalik was there anyways. Doesn't feel like he had enough for a bro, so. Good rotation over from Black using that gem. XY serving his bait. Black extreme farm at this point. 22 oh, ice, ice, ice. to the basher again. Got the bloods on the night. Probably gonna use it. Does end up actually getting used offensively, but yeah. Sees Mushi and one. Raging Potato come in and he will end up doing Ice Ice Ice. Oh, making space for Roche. Yeah, they're backing off. I think that was, that's probably the better decision. Black mid lane looking to see if he can find a straggler. Mushi going to reveal himself here. Finds a disruptor instead and will be able to pick him up with that dark pack. Does get silenced up, but has the BKB if he wants to purge this. He's going to hold on to it for now though and they'll kill off Mushi. So a bit of a case of perhaps chain feed from Mineski, but Mushi didn't really have any choice but to fight. He had used his Shadow Blade to walk in towards that. Yeah, you're not managing to kill everyone else, which is like the only way, you, only thing you can do. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 very hard for uh, Mineski, and I'm not sure what their game plan is. They're playing against double Midas. Mushi holding on. Front. Uh, as he does have the silver. They know there. though. They have good positioning. Black is going in. Black gets silenced up, but has the dark pack preempted. Now, on oh, the north side, the Static Warlock Storm is, is pretty much going to whiff. They do get the Warlock, but they need to run down to the south to re-engage on the fight. And now Black, he's just going to look and man fight. Epicenter up to the north. Ice, Ice, Ice still standing tall. And the two carries fighting against one another. Mushi going to join up. Black in trouble. Does have the Aegis, though. Gabs nearby. Mushi, Laguna blades him down. Meanwhile, Ice, Ice, Ice will be able to pick up. 3-4-3, three, three, and now Black gonna respawn. Jab's gonna come in. Mana burns up to Lina. They'll pounce forward and find her. Black has six essence just chargers. He still has the ultimate. Raging Potato. KYXY, he was thinking about re-engaging, but he'll think twice as Ice 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 joins the fray as well. A little whiff on the timber chain, but double kill for Black as he gets the timely bash once again. And a very split up fight, but it just seems like Aegis was just the tipping factor there. Yes, quite a lot of stacks, not an insane amount, but a lot to take down. No, uh, they didn't just have Static Storm come back up, and Black does not have Aegis, but he's got a full butterfly at this point with no yeah. lifestealer. Jump forward, Dust. Try and find Black. They will get the glimpse back onto him. He gets the dark packed off beforehand. Will be able to BKB and ult. He's going to turn and right click into KYXY. Godlike streak for. The Slark. Zip forward from Ice Ice Ice. Ninja Boogie in trouble. Illuminate finishes him off. Jab's able to blink out after open wounds. Ice Ice Ice, not the easiest target to bring down. He's going to be silenced for the next little bit. And there's the counter initiation from the Chaotic Offering onto the Life Stealer. They'll turn back onto Mushi, though, and bring down the Lina. Even with Magnus Eyes taking away, they'll be healed up by the Illuminate. Black will jump forward in towards top lane. He's got Shadow Dance once again. 31 Essence Shift stacks and the Butterfly. He wants to be able to use this on the buildings. He's going to be healed up by the urn as well as the shadow word. Raging Potato forced to pop rage here. And Ice Ice Ice, he doesn't commit all that New much to it. Coming. Gets an infest off into a radiant creep. Be able to make it away, but it's two melee racks. Is one full lane in the mid lane. The rest of the squad push in the bottom lane. The last tier two stopping them from taking that third lane of racks and black. Oh, epic. They do have Ward oh, Vision. God. Ice Ice Ice. He's going to kind of get glimpsed out of the epicenter, though. KYXY pops the BKB. The Life Stealer is still inside him. Now will finally pop, knowing that the Rock is down. But Black, he'll just get to work and bring down KYXY. Pounce not going to connect onto Raging Potato. He does get the Infest off, but a jump forward from Ice Ice Ice. Gets the Shock from Slow Off. And Raging Potato, he will be able to arm the toggle and make it out. Chaotic Offering just coming back off cooldown. It was used on the north side of the fight. They'll bring down 343. Three. Nuts in trouble. We'll end up dropping Shivas, though. Doesn't quite give them vision of Mushi, who's able to make it off to the west. Ice, ice, ice. Oh, doesn't connect with the timber chain. Perhaps may have bursted the disruptor there. Or look at the Kerek offering out, and that probably meant that means that Mineski lost the fight. Uh, Mushi's kind of yoling here, which is pretty good, because that's what you have to do to even have a chance at this game. And it works out. If his team can follow him up, and it doesn't look like they're able to KOX, right? Just a minute too late. Now he's going to get abyssaled and save yeah, your teammate Black syndrome. Black 
40 Essence Shift stacks roughly at this point. We'll force the Infest out from Raging Potato. Meanwhile, Ice 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 blows one up front line. Lena has a buyback available. 20 seconds till KY. XY is up though and feels like without a full five man, they don't really have a chance to defend this and they will throw in the towel in this game one faceless. After looking like Black was really the only relevant hero in towards the mid lane, Ice 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 ended up dying a lot of times by his lonesome. Just felt like Mineski just unable to deal with it, as you mentioned, without bur bursting the Warlock before counter initiation comes out. Anti mage. It's hard to make plays with that spell when it's on level one. You kind of need it to be level three, I'd say, before you can like reliable kill people unless they're very low already. He is going deep though. Well, what is XY doing? Was that an easy little... Yeah, yeah, okay. it was in. Yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't watching Mushi action. Well, Antimage doesn't really care about those timings as much. So that's like an interesting aspect about doing this yeah. kind of stuff. Not sure if it's gonna matter that much though. I feel like the game is gonna go lady the way. Yeah. I definitely, it's it's perhaps untapped potential for the tiny, whereas and tiny hasn't even picked up level six yet. Just will now. Here, ten minutes into the game, jumping forward. Cask not going to do much for nuts here. He is going to look for TPL. Mana void is there though. Be an easy kill for raging potato, and he will end up getting it. Doesn't even need to expend the blink. And because it's a solo kill, gets himself a good amount of experience. That's very good as well. Two towers so far. And... They're getting a lot of map control. The might as stuff on Omni-Night. Oh, animation. Reveal the blink on Mushi was unable to get a kill. X does find a kill on Raging Potato. Not seeing comfortable on this hero. This uh, The second game is doing some pretty basic mistakes. And this is dead. Mushi, oh, damn, that damage. Anti-mage inbound as well, has the blink forward, finds it onto Nuts. Nuts has no mana. Would have been a big no mana void if he pops it. There we go. Oh, sleep. The shrine is up in there. 15. Ah, they need to get out. Radiance out from Aga Siren. And... Okay, but they do TP out the Warlock towards. Looks like they'll concede the tier 1 in exchange for Roche. Yeah, it's sort of the time if you want to hit. Uh, to look for these tier... Uh, one or two of Adam, these tier two. Find him with the next assassin, but the turnaround oh. could be real. They get the fatal bonds off. Oh, he got the stun off comes he through. And Mushi with all his damage, easy double kill, going his way deep behind enemy lines. Certainly got to create space with your Naga Siren, but oh, Manavoid finds the third kill. They have a ward there. How did they? Yeah, they have. Oh, yeah, they did. So doing plays like that is super risky. You might, you might straight up. Lose a game almost because of trying to do plays like that. Roll forward. Let's get the kick off. Mushi just two right clicks. Place. They do get the stun off onto Mushi. There's oh. no more Aegis at Black this point. Black has no stun. And Black will toss him up and finish him off. Definitely the more worthy kill for Faceless this side. Still though, they're pressuring this tower. Adam rolling up to the high ground and does not get hit by the avalanche. So he have to toss in time? He does. Cancels the TP. 4-3 with a kick away. Black has a blink in four. Trying to go for the neutral. Deny and he oh. will get it. <laughs> oh, like there's no way. And then and then the ice 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 shows up so the blast happens. Stuff like that I'm is what I'm assuming. Because it seems a bit odd to go into blink, veil and then right tick. Jump for two men. Impale. Black's going to oh, be there as well. Gets the veil one. off. Mushi is dead. Rock comes up, but it's a bit late. They get the uh, net off, but the Manta's already there for the Anti-Mage. He's so farmed. Death Ward will finish off Ninja Boogie. They do catch two more on the back lines. It's Anti-Mage. Black has his full combo available here. Will he get it off in time? He does. And Anti-Mage is going to draw. Ice, Ice, Ice finds out KYXY. And again, Mineski with a good foothold yeah. in the game. And somehow... Dragging it back is faceless. And they take a massively decisive team fight win in the mid.
try and take him out alone. He'll just go Scepter and TP away, though. Now no Mushi in the mid lane. Do they look to initiate? Ice 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 blinking forward. Can't really find anyone. I think TP Warlock out. is gonna get sacked here. Trees, KYXY, able to make it out. Cask flies across the map to find Oh, it. he's committing it. Cask does find KYXY oh, across the map there. on the Omni Knight. Big Magnetize. Jabs is gonna be forced to pop the sleep. They want to re-engage here. They don't have their tiny just yet. Uh, backing out the mechanism from KYXY going to keep Ninja Boogie alive. Oh, raging Potato. Damn. Where did Coddle die? Coddle died to the... What was it called? Fail of Bonds? I'm like, I'm, I'm not dying. I'm committing my golem. I'm, I'm not giving up. It worked out. It's the second, uh, second Roche down. Just a fraction of a second earlier, they maybe get that kill on Mushi. KYXY was nearby, however. Oh, this uh, this Naga is in trouble, actually. Does Earth Spirit has a blink? Do they know it's real? They might not be sure. Oh, that XY. stop! The, the sleep from Jabs. He pops it, trying to save them, but then just decides to back, as he probably wouldn't have even made there in time. Bottom. Ice as Ice is trying to space grade. Yeah. Oh, he didn't think far, though. Now the silence is there from Adam. And again, free kill for Mushi off the back of 343's plays. And he's going a hex on Mushi here. They know it's, it's not, they know the real one is here. Oh, they're trying to dodge uh... the Radiant Sprint. Jump oh. forward. He is going to catch. Chaotic offering as well as the geomatic the magnetic grip. He can't get off the uh, sleep as the hex reveal from Mushi is there. Jabs down 66 seconds. Well executed gank. Into the Roche pit they go. Mushi melds up the Roche and this will melt real quickly. Whether or not it's scouted, they do have a sleep ready though, this is, Jabs. This is scary. Jump forward. They will be able to get the Aegis onto Mushi, and now Ice 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 in trouble. Jabs, he's oh, gonna pop the sleep, but they got the BKB off on Raging Potato. He's got the Abyssal Blade as well. Mana Void is there. That's oh, a dieback for the Naga Siren. Ice 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 in trouble as well. Roll forward from Adam. He blinks up one last swipe with his staff. Double kill going the way of Raging Potato. Aegis into the hands of Mushi. I, I think they, they want to win right now. Uh, they didn't lose Aegis, right? I need to check. Yeah, yeah Mushi has it. There was a Sheesh though. Yeah, Ant Mage has it. Oh my god, they didn't use anything. Blink Hex. Carapace was... Did get it off there, but with the Repel up, Mushi no cares about Blinding Light. Eh. They'll finish off the Nyx Assassin. It's a dieback for him, so 25 seconds, two heroes off the board. Easy, at least one lane of Rax here. I'll probably if get not two. two. Yeah. Uh, Adam is playing amazing. Everyone is doing great. Warlock is hitting, doesn't even have to use golems actually. Yeah, it's still Aegis in hand for Mushi. Seven Diffusal Blade charges. Hex is in the uh, backpack currently, but there takes off the E-Blade and gets to work. Repel takes off the E-Blade. He'll slow down the Tiny with the Diffusal. Mana Void. Nets another kill and GG is called by Faceless Mineski. After looking like in game one, they had a sizable advantage in throwing that away. In game two, kind of the same story happening where that little window where Tiny picks up Veil and they kill off Mushi twice. Ten seconds remaining. Alchemist. Good dumpster, this hero, Ice Frog. We're sailing now. Getting pretty low, no regen. Kanka's getting in. No, only does level have, one, though. Does have oh, a, that oh the torn connects. They'll have a shockwave in one second. One more right click, it'll do it. First blood. And in an arcane rune for extra value for X, Y, and that was just before he buys bottle, actually. He had 660 gold there. But unable to get the full bottle up. So back to lane without regen. Without it's bottle. Okay. KYXY. Yeah. In trouble and black. Oh, I think he's going to survive one more hit. Yeah. To run him down. Where is Adam? Oh, he, that's pretty unfortunate. If he had been somewhere close, could have turned into a counter kit. Is that you just throw the coddle there? Yeah. 
Def definitely, even just blinding light alone. Oh, this is a good rotation by Kunkka. Do he has he has webs as well? Oh, Torrent Ooh. is gonna whiff, unfortunately, but they do have the X back, so it will be a dead ninja boogie. Roll before it now from three four three gets the dust off. Icy, but... icy, thank you. Yeah, I was just gonna say, pretty thank you at this point. Oh, mid as well. Jabs, I guess meanwhile. both. Both went off. Experience going the way of the mag though. Yeah, but generally, I don't think it matters that much yeah. a lot of times. If they want to cut the kill first, we'll like lose gold oh, a lot of time. the body blocks from not stop lane. So I actually gonna be in forward. trouble. Yeah. Back one more. Right click like, into the off. creep with the fatal bonds. Uh, Nuts in trouble now, uh, but no orb of venom actually on Adam, so oh, to walk himself yeah, away. That's probably the best play. I don't really think he should be in the lane anymore. He is most likely just gonna feed. I think he's probably gonna die here. Try to walk over to the east. Black gonna jump forward. Oh, and they do have X Y as well. They will torn him up. Doesn't get the carapace off. And X Y gonna die once again, the third time in this one. Well, Spiderlings, bottom lane. Doing some work. Oh, he, is he dead? The ninja boogie. The webs will run out, though. Oh, just oh, he had oh, one, one more web. Eyes, eyes, eyes. What a player. A hero that time he was well known. Two and a half seconds silence. Maybe you get the impale on top. Impale starts it off. Black or KYXY maybe starting to bait in, trying to bait in black. Mushi gonna drop the eclipse. Nice silence by 343. Three. They will get the kill. Meanwhile, though, they find Ninja Boogie bottom lane and they get the tier one. Oh. Nyx missed the stun off their uh, Lucid Beam on oh, Nuts, so they didn't get the follow up kill. More or less ideal start. But uh, Mineski's draft can like recover from this. Uh, and I'm all oh, Adam. Got X back. Viewer is available. Not needed though. Illuminate will catch onto two. XY. KY, XY, I should say. Finding jabs. He's gonna look to skewer up the hill. Nicely placed such that he doesn't bring any of the oh, enemy with beam. him. Radiance that was close. He almost went down actually. XY may not be so lucky. You have a sentry nearby here. I said. So it feels like yeah. well worth the time spent away from hitting creeps and normally at this point you could like okay we're gonna put our next safe lane to get some free levels and experience but that doesn't work against the brood we're just gonna dive the tower and kill you top lane nuts we'll get caught with the spike carapace and oh, haste to jobs. finish him off now he abs com jobs comes through he has an rp we'll drop it onto the luna luna no longer any mana black has a mana void if need be we'll end up expending it Oh, nice. bottom lane. Alchemist. More important oh, he has on the tackle. It looks like he was gonna go die by gonna Radiance go down, but on the tackle sees him. I still think better of it for the time being. No one really showing on the map for the Radiant side. Jabs. Ward. Drop down a ward. Has RP 30 seconds. As they're gonna drop the boat mid lane. Links here and will connect. Torrent is there as well. Black coming through. Illuminate hits on a couple. Nice two-man stun, but the skewer is there from Jabs. Beautiful. Nicely executed kill, and this will translate into a tier one siege as well. But he wasn't mm. sure he was going to win the man fight. He's like, oh, I have to run. But uh, very close to the relic, at least. Going to have a decently timed radiance. And top lane. A nice, the warlock. Uh, yeah, Vendetta. Uh, a late Vendetta, but at least it's a kill. That's... Uh, very nice for him. Kinda, he really needed that one to, to be yeah. able to pick up a kill with that. And Mushi got it, but just being participant it is fine. Raging Potato gets RP'd up. Three seconds until Chemical oh, Rage. Is that gonna buy him enough time? Bolt is gonna connect. Finishes off the Alchemist. Earth Spirit in trouble as well. Isis is still standing tall and will get out of range of the tower. Magnetized though, he's near his, oh his teammates. <laughs> Needs to outrun them and he does. 30 something HP. Oh, ends up going down to a neutral. Uh, wow. that... Oh, it, what? I was... <laughs> I, I don't know uh, how that happened. Yeah, that was probably... Uh, and uh, the Max Webb's uh, the talent at 25 as well is insane. So you have like... You can you can cover... Like, all of the map where you want to be. Like, if you're planning to fight, you can have it there. Oh, Alchemist could not get the Omnitoggle off. 
Are they fighting? Find that. They're trying to get this through three man uh, silence, but already RP is going to find the Earth Spirit. Eclipse, this though. Is Rock is going to be dropped. Jabs is going to be able to skewer away from the Eclipse, and they soak it up as a team. Double kill for Black. Oh, now he's going to look to find the Luna as well. And they're just going to X her back into the torrent. XY on a killing spree. KYXY, he doesn't do much of anything when in the game with the start he's had. She drops down, jabs nearby with the RP. Dylan. Ice 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 going for the BKB right now. Or at least that's what's queued up in his quick buy. He's got the Ogre Club in stash, so. Air clips. <laughs> Black just seizing for free here. The Warlock behind him. X gonna be popped. Wanna go for a Onto thing. Mushi. They found the, the boat. That's half his HP already. Uh, at least for the shrine out. Unstable oh, he's gonna self stun. Oh, Yabs could skewer him down here. Or they just gonna go in. Chaotic Offering does connect on the back lines. They get the mana void off. Uh, the mechanism is gonna keep the Warlock alive. Now a skewer back is onto two. KYXY mag magnetizes there, and it'll probably kill off Nuts. But double kill going the way of Black. Three heroes down now. Buyback coming out from KYXY, but really not much to deter Faceless all in all. Illuminate as well as the Lucent Beam will connect on Black, but he's still sitting on Aegis. X onto the Luna now. She'll be solar crusted up. X back into the torrent. Jump forward from oh, Black God. with the Manta. Shockwave was there from Jabs as well. And Black is out of control at this point. Defensive Solar Crest popped on him by Ice 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 and no. Bottom tower is also taking damage slowly from random stuff like Ice 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 ending his white links, poking a little bit. And they're going for the towers first, apparently. Oh, that's Roll forward the right onto the Kanka. Unstable Concoction gonna come out. Nice Chaotic Offering to keep the Alchemist at bay and the BKBs pop by Black and Ice Ice Ice. Oh. Three man RP empowers their triple kill with the Mana Void. And they're going to the Manila Masters land is Faceless. Of course, the favorite from day one here, Mineski. They put up a Valiant fight in game two and Mushi and KYXY trying to return to glory in SEA. But today, their hopes will be crushed as Faceless.